Hey everybody, this is The Amateur Golf Club and welcome to the channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about, in my opinion, the best golf balls for us amateurs out there. And if you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do that and yeah, let's dive right into the video. Okay, now to get started, we are first going to talk about the main things to look for when you are purchasing a golf ball. And in my opinion, for us amateurs and beginners out there, the first thing you should be looking for are two-piece golf balls. And as you can see here, golf balls come in different amount of layers, which can range from two to five pieces. And the more layers you have, the more spin you will receive off the ball. And that is not what you want as an amateur golfer. Now for us amateurs, we should really be looking for a ball that has low spin and gives us extra distance. This is why two-piece golf balls are great for beginners because it provides the extra distance right off the tee and it also provides less spin on the ball which helps you avoid slicing it right and left. All right. Okay, now let's dive right into our list of golf balls best suited for amateurs. Now, the first ball on our list will be the Callaway Super Soft. Now, the Super Soft Golf Ball is a long, straight distance ball that is incredibly soft. And with a low compression core for fast ball speeds, it also provides super low spin and low drag for you to be able to spank this baby right down the fairway. The Callaway Super Soft is just known to be the most forgiving ball that Callaway has made and it comes at a really low price point which is great for us amateur golfers because I know it's sometimes easy to lose a lot of golf balls in just one single round. Now moving on to our second ball on our list, we have the Strixen Soft Feel. This ball is personally my favorite because I just like how it rolls on the greens and how I'm able to consistently hit it off the tee. The soft feel is made with a fast layer core which provides a soft center and this will give you that incredible softness around the greens and also great distance off the tee. The soft feel also provides a 338 speed dimple pattern on each ball which provides more distance and better performance in the wind because it helps reduce drag. The soft feel also gets its name from having a soft, thin cover and that provides more greenside spin for average golfers and it also provides softer feel on all pitches, chips, and putts. And yes, another reason why I love these golf balls are because they are simply cheap. They come at a really low price point because yes, I do tend to lose a lot of golf balls and if you do the same, you know, think about it, these might be a good choice for you as well. Now finally moving on to our third and last ball on our list, we have the Noodle Soft. And this ball is definitely the cheapest and you get the most value for your money because it comes in a pack of 15 for a price of around $20. Now the Noodle Soft is very durable but it also has a very soft cover for great feels around the green when you are chipping and putting. And again this is a two piece golf ball which is going to help you reduce spin right off the tee. This ball has 342 dimples which is a little bit more than the Strix and Soft feel and this is going to help reduce drag and increase speeds for the average golfer. And as you can see, all three balls that we have chosen today are all pretty similar and have a lot in common from being cheap, having low spin, and also providing that extra distance that's needed for us amateur golfers. And just one last thing I'd like to add is, you know, everyone thinks that all these expensive balls like the Pro V1s, the TP5s are just, you know, the best golf balls out there. And you know what, that's just simply not the case. If you buy these golf balls, they're really going to be a lot more harder for you to hit, especially if you're just starting out playing golf. So that's why I would highly recommend in considering the three balls that we have mentioned in today's video, you know, you'd actually be surprised at how well you hit these golf balls, especially when you are a mid or high handicap golfer. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you haven't liked and subscribed already please do that because we're going to be making a lot more golfing videos. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.